compliment bombs. What should you wear if you want to get compliments with your fragrance? There are a few fragrances that will just naturally get you compliments no matter what you do, and I will show you. The first is a very modern, very feminine fragrance, which is La Vie est Belle. This is from Lacombe, which is a tried and true uh, brand that's been around for a while. This is a very... This is probably one of the most popular feminine fragrances at the moment because it, it stands out. It's, this is a, a very sweet gourmet fragrance. Um, it has notes of praline, it has notes of very sweet sugary fruit. Uh, th this is just the one of the sugariest fragrances you'll ever come across. So if you like that, this is it. This is what you need. And, you know, at the same time, uh, d despite being extremely sugary, it also is sophisticated. It has its own kind of uh, way, and it's very strong. You know, you don't need to put on a lot to really, you know, get noticed uh, because it's very concentrated. Um, and it, it, it's great performer, great projection, scent trail, whatever, whatever you're looking for in a fragrance, this has it. And like I said, it is very, very feminine, and that alone will get you compliments because it's just really out there. You know, you don't have to try. It's just strong enough to do all the heavy lifting for you. Then, something not quite as strong, but still very feminine, very, very nice, uh, Versace Bright Crystal. So this has a variety of notes like yuzu, pomegranate, a little bit of musk, ice accord, there's iciness in it, I guess. Uh, so that makes it very refreshing, very floral, somewhat sweet, moderately sweet, not quite as sweet as La Via Belle. Um, this is, this reminds me of the spring, you know, when the, the snow is melting, it's still a little bit cold outside, but you know it's getting warmer. Uh, that's what this is. This is, you know, very nice, refreshing, a little bit cold, a little bit sweet, floral, feminine. Uh, very, it, this is a staple, you know, you don't have to think about wearing this because you know it's gonna be good um, It does what it's meant to do and it's pretty affordable. I think it's like 50 ish dollars. So really affordable um, Longevity is moderate, you know, not not great maybe four to five hours But since it is a, an affordable fragrance you can afford to just reapply it throughout the day if uh, the longevity is a problem for you but other than that, this is a really great fragrance. Um, then, if you want something way more luxurious, I got two from the same brand. Uh, Oud Satin Mood and Baccarat Rouge. So, pretty much everyone knows about Baccarat Rouge 540 at this point. Um, so I'll talk about this first. This is a pretty sweet and spicy fragrance. Um, sweet in a very unique way. I would say burnt sugar. Not just regular sugar like La Vie Belle. This has more of a burnt aspect to it, which I like personally better than just regular sugariness. Um, it's a little bit has more texture, more. Um, it's also blended with saffron and some spice notes, and also a few musk notes. So you're, you're you have this sugary fragrance, which is kind of uh, counteracted by heavier muskier, um, thicker notes. And that makes this very luxurious. It's extremely popular at the moment. Um, and very strong. You don't need to put on a lot uh, for this to make a serious impact. Um, and it has a great, great scent trail. Just one spray of this, you'll be just trailing this all over wherever you go. This will follow you anywhere. Uh, it is more expensive, you know, just by the brand, it's a very prestigious French fragrance. It's gonna be more expensive, but you do get what you pay for. The same with this other one from the same brand, uh, Wood Satin Mood. This is, I think it's around the same price point. It's in, you know, it's in the hundreds, but uh, this is particularly expensive because it has Oud in it, which is a very rare, uh, very rare type of wood. And it's also blended with Turkish Rose, which the combination between the Oud, which is a musky wood note, versus the light sweetness of the rose, 
fantastic, delicious, unparalleled. This is the good stuff. Um, it's also, you know, top shelf expensive stuff. But, you know, like I said, you get what you pay for with both of these. Uh, I would say this Baccarat Rouge 540, more of a daytime fragrance, more casual, more uh, playful, you know. Oud Satin Mood is more for the evening, more, you're more serious, formal, sophisticated, you know, mature, uh, very refined. Both these are refined, but you know, it, it, there is a difference here. Then the last one that I have, more of a casual daytime uh, fragrance, light blue from Dolce & Gabbana. This will get you compliments all day, every day, all the time. This is also a best-selling fragrance. Uh, even the men's version is a best-selling fragrance. This Dolce & Gabbana, they have this down. They know what they're doing. Very simple fragrance. Primarily, you're gonna get uh, some green apple, Granny Smith apple, very crisp. Then some citrus notes, you know. There are some other notes, of course, but those main notes at the top are really what you're gonna get here. Very kind of a sunny, springtime, summertime, crisp, ripe fragrance. Very pleasant, very feminine. This is good if you are not a big fan of like how sugary La Vie Belle is, if you want something more natural smelling. This is it, because like I said, the apple, the citrus notes, very, very much like you're going to the beach or it's just a nice spring or summer day. Um, it's also a little bit kind of fresh linen-esque, so um, definitely on the fresher side. Not great on longevity, four hours, maybe, maybe five, you know, pretty light, but uh, it's still noticeable, you know, people are still going to notice this on you, you'll get compliments for sure. And that's a, that's my list. That's, I mean, those are some of the most popular, best-selling, most complimented fragrances, at least currently. So if you have any questions or opinions uh, about them, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.